Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find that listed below. And our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, now on sale, $25. We are looking to bring in a new deck, guys. We are clearing out our inventory. So if you're interested, check it out get them while they're hot this is you know we'll be bringing this one back but we have another one we want to release so guys let's get into this for cancer what do we got oh <laughs> i like it cancer your luck is transforming your luck is transforming. That is awesome energy for you. He's saying give it time. Under the bottom of the, let's see what we got. Let's get, let's pull something here. <laughs> so Mercury retrograde. Give it time. Okay, Mercury retrograde. Okay, there we go. Um, Mercury retrograde starts. April 1st, we are going to be in the shadow period, um, probably around the 20th, usually about two weeks before. So between the 15th and the 20th, um, which is coming up real soon. So maybe by this weekend, we'll be in the shadow of retrograde. Your luck is starting to change. Something transformed. Or you're lucky something's over. Some, so take it out, resonates with you. They're saying give it time. Things will change here. This is a blessing. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, somebody from your past wants to go from rough waters to calm waters. So they want to they want smooth sailing here with you. If you're dealing with a Taurus. So somebody is cutting out the harsh truth, or or the harsh truth is being cut out. Um, so with that two of swords, making a head over heart decision to cut something out here. Um, you have the two swords. They're crossed over your heart, though. So this may be love. This You have emotions in the background normally in the, in the Rider weight deck. Um, and there's something that's hidden because you're blindfolded and there's the moon in the background. So the harsh truth could be the, what's hidden. What's hidden in a situation. Um, if you're dealing with a Gemini. Gemini may be with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn if you're dealing with a can another Cancer. They're manifesting deception, deceptive illusion. This could be magic or, you know, I don't really feel like people manifest a lying, uh, cheating or stealing. So I feel like, you know, I don't really feel like you manifest negative energy unless you're doing spell work, right? So if they're doing spell work here, be prepared because, you know, manifesting an illusion or a deceptive illusion. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Leo, it could illuminate somebody standing their ground or blocking a situation. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're doing some soul searching about you, Cancer. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're looking back at past mistakes. They feel like, okay, so if they're looking back at past mistakes with that seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles can also be that they're looking at their fruits of their labor, right? They've planted the seed, but it's still ripe on, it's not ripe on the vine yet. So it's not ripe for picking, but it's also could be looking back at past mistakes, being patient. But if, they may have made a mistake if they walked away. So their mistake may have been walking away. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's an opportunity here to uh, close out a karmic cycle. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, There's emotional communication, but they're looking at it from a different perspective. So whatever you're, they're saying or you're saying, they're looking at it from, you know, they're looking at the bigger picture here. And also, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to Sagittarius for a second. 
you know, for me, the hanged man can also be this, this, uh, the card of empathy. So being able to stand in somebody else's shoes and see it from their point of view, right? It's not just seeing it from a different perspective, but also seeing the other person's perspective. So emotional communication, they may be having a heart to heart talk with you about this and you're seeing things from their, from their point of view. That's, that's what that could be as well. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's a lot of burden around a king of pentacles or a king of, I'm sorry, a king of wands. So you may be having difficult, a difficulty with, or Capricorn is having a dip, difficulty with an Aries Leo or a Sag. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like they want to reconcile with you. And if you're dealing with a Pisces. Somebody's not saying it, but they're jealous. So there's some jealousy and somebody's just keeping it to themselves. Okay. Oh. I don't know where my head's at. Let's see what we got. Okay. So Cancer, you're happy something's over or luck is on your side and something's over, or your luck is beginning to transform. Your luck is changing, right? Um, Mercury retrograde, like I said, starts April 1st, and they're saying give it time. So um, you, you may be going through something right now and you won't see the effects for another two weeks or so. So you made a decision to cut something out, but you're looking at it from a different perspective. Um, you're coming in in pre-empress energy with that nine of pentacles. It could be about your twin flame, four of wands. So... Cancer, you cut you cut something out, something that you could have had. You could have had a relationship. You could have had anything, anything. There even could have been uh, negative energy on you, cutting out the negative energy. Um, whatever the case may be, this is making you look at things differently now. You see things differently now because I feel like you're away from something. You have the strength for equal give and take in, in, in reconciling or in your judgment or you, oh, okay. So I feel like, mm, let me see. So I feel like you're the queen of pinnacles here as well. I've, I don't feel like this is an outside source. I feel like this is you. The strength to have equal give and take uh, in your judgment, or maybe seeing eye to eye with something, with somebody. Now you're able to see things the same as the other person. Now you're, you're having equal give and take. There's an exchange here um, and in your judgment. So maybe there's, now you both are on the same page here. Something was painful. There was a painful ending here. Then you had to recover from a painful ending. And I feel like it, um, you're, why do I feel like, Cancer, I feel like you're recovering from releasing some kind of negative thing from you, whether it was a person, whether it was an energy, whether it was something around you, because you're cutting something out and seeing things differently to where you know that now you're on the same page with somebody in your judgment. In other words, if you had... Um, constantly battling in a relationship and there is fighting back and forth and something you removed something from the situation 
and now you're you're starting to see that your energy and the other person's energy are are seeing eye to eye right because oh so you remove the obstacle that was causing the two of you not to see eye to eye is how you could also look at that right whatever was whatever was removed was painful so the betrayal the painful a painful ending with the ten of swords right and now you have to recover you know that whatever this was that you had to recover from caused a lot of burden in a situation now also this could be even though i don't see the devil here i do see you cutting out something right so cutting out something could be alcohol drugs uh, any kind of an addiction anything that was causing the two of you to have um difference of opinions um i feel like for you there's a lot going on here i also feel that um with this um overcoming this obstacle you know was a lot of burden it was painful and you had to see things from a different perspective here um in order for this burden to recover from the burden uh, of this painful ending um it has to do with the king of swords and the queen of pentacles i feel like you're the queen of pentacles here because you are also that pre-empress energy so that for me the queen of pentacles could be the empress in the minor arcana so i feel like for you you made the right decision here it was a long time coming so um i don't know if it was it could have been anything it could have been that you had to recover from some kind of an addiction or some kind of something that you had to get that you had to cut out of your life um now this also could be an attachment if you had negative energies around you you cut them out and now you don't have to worry about you two not seeing eye to eye on something here So I feel like a truth, you're coming, see your Empress energy, it's coming in all aspects. The, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of, of Pentacles, and, and now you have the Empress energy here. The truth is you want to be with this person. You want to be with this person, and you've mastered your emotions about this. Now, this person could be a King of Cups. They could be a King of Swords. Um, they could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like for you, uh, because you may have, um, I don't know, why am I getting faced your demons? Whatever that might be. Now, I feel like in, in, in an energy here of you clearing, uh, like a clear, uh, cleaning the house of something, you're clearing your own energy, you're clearing the uh, energies around you or anything that's within you that you've been holding on to that's been a negative thing for you, you're releasing this. This is what, like, but you were at a crossroads on how to do it. I feel like the luck has changed. So your luck has changed because something has ended something is now no longer a problem it's done right they're saying give it time there may be some lingering aspect of it for the next two or three weeks so be prepared for that okay what do we have for cancer I feel like hmm, could have been an ex you were cutting out that you moved on from. You could have released yourself from a negative past um, because you could have been moving on from this divorce, from a divorce, or this is just an ending because it's sudden. It's sudden, like sudden ending. And, you know, it's almost like maybe it feels like a divorce, like something's breaking free. You're breaking free from something. Um, but I also it has to do with your security and your stability. And they're saying moving forward, moving on. I see you moving on from something that was holding you back. Whether that is energy, whether that is 
um, something that you were personally doing, I feel like you're cutting the cord on that, right? Because you want equal give and take pre empress in a new beginning and love. You want a victory. You're ready to do whatever it takes to move forward to have the blessings come in. So you are taking that leap to let yourself just release things that no longer serve you. There's emotional communication here. Manifesting you or you're manifesting communication cancer. Here you are, cancer, right here. You're manifesting that, that, that you know, uh, emotional communication. Or somebody could be manifesting you. You want a victory, maybe they want a victory too. You walked away from something and you're moving on. You're, you're, you have, you've gained some, um, some higher... Um, I feel like you are really using your intuition that you, you have gained some enlightenment. You have a higher esoteric knowledge now. So you, you have like graduated in some aspect in your, in your spiritual journey, you've grown from it, right? Because like walking away and moving forward, this high priestess energy is with, with more knowledge. I feel like it's with more knowledge. Um, you have a, I feel like a Gemini Libra or Aquarius around you. I see a couple between two people. I see a, I see a, a relationship with a Gemini Libra Aquarius cancer. You know, I feel like uh, I'm hearing that you did it for love, okay? So I feel like whatever you had to do to get to the next level, you did it because of love. Now, love conquers all, remember. And I feel like for you, the harsh truth was you had to leave something out in the cold in order to be with somebody you wanted to be with, with that Knight of Cups energy. You wanted to be with this King of Swords energy. And so this is about stability and security and something suddenly happens. There's a shift for you right now. Like it's a shift from the negative to the positive. Like you're moving forward. Now we all have highs and lows, guys. And you you learn from, you learn from, um, I, I will say, uh, we could say the darkness, but here's what I feel. I feel that um, adversity, that's where you grow. You don't grow from unicorns and rainbows. I always say that you learn, you grow from pain, right? You, it's not necessarily that you have to suffer, but you know, you, that's a lesson. Sometimes lessons are tough. Sometimes they're hard. Sometimes they're hurtful, right? But you're growing here and you're moving forward. And I feel like it has to do with love. I feel like you had a lot of challenges here. You were back and forth about what was hidden and, and it's almost like strong emotions about rebuilding. You know, maybe this is why you were juggling the thought of having to rebuild yourself. Um, but you're going to find that you're already built. I don't know why you feel like you are rebuilding. Like, here we go again. I have to start from the ground up. No, you don't. Where you think you are down here, you're actually up here. Your vibration's way higher than it used to be. Um, you are working on rebuilding yourself. You're, you're working on rebuilding because here's the thing. If you've had something pulling you down, pulling your energy down or pulling your vibration down, it could be negative energy around you or on you. It could be people. It could be energy vampires. It could be anybody that's sucking the life out of you. Okay. So for you, it, you cut that cord and you released yourself from it. So what happens? Your vibration raises, you go, you go up higher, right? And this is you working on rebuilding yourself. I feel like you, you're, you're, um, you're not seeing it yet because when they said, give it time, it's going to take a minute for you to go, Oh, well, this energy feels good. You know, like, I'm okay here. This is good. This is good for me, right? So just give it a minute. You know, get through whatever you're, you're going through. Release whatever it is you need to release. And then give it a minute for you to sit, feel the vibration of what you need to feel in the situation. You may have some haters watching you. You may have some haters. You got, you got a glow up going on. Cancer, you got a glow up going on and somebody is hating on you. Somebody's hating on you because you're, you're, <laughs> I'm going to take these. Okay. You got message, you got message and you got lesson. 
okay? And sorry if you guys hear that outside noise, that's my gardener, so. Um, so the message, there's a lesson that's been learned, but somebody's watching, they could be somebody that likes money, they like, the, they're a gold digger, a little bit of a gold digger, and you know, they may be watching you, they may be wondering why is cancer looking so damn good today, um, because you got your glow up. Honey, I would prance around like I was on a runway throw my hair, flip my hair, and just go about my day. So, cancer. See, you're not talking about this to people. You're kind of, you've, you've kind of let things go. You kind of just doing your thing, right? You're kind of keeping it to yourself. You're closing out the cycle. This is, this is about having a happy relationship. So, not saying anything, just going about your day, closing out the cycle, Empress Energy. So people, uh, people want you to tell them. You got somebody who's watching you wanting to know why you're having your glow up, right? They're passionately communicating. They want to know the harsh truth. What happened? What happened? They want the gossip. They want the tea. They want you to tell them what you did. Whatever they're seeing something different in you and they don't know what they don't understand. Right? Uh, I don't feel like you want to cause anybody a tower moment, but I feel like for them, you know, I feel like you're healing and that's your justice in a situation. You don't have to tell anybody why you are looking so good today and why, because here's the thing, you haven't changed on the outside. You're still you. You look in the mirror, that face still looks the same, but something inside of you has your confidence up or their, your inner beauty is shining because you have let go of something that was just like a dark cloud over your head. You've released something. You've released something and yet an opportunity for that tower to fall. I feel like because, because your healing is your justice, give that tower a minute to fall. Let it crumble to the ground. Um, you know, you could surf it all the way to ground and ride it to the ground like it was your bitch if you wanted to. But I feel like for you, somebody's kind of upset by the fact that you um, that you've got a glow up here. This person now they may have some regrets and they may try to reconcile with you. But the truth is you see things from a different perspective and you're on a healing journey. You're telling them, you know, I'm not interested in, you're not, you're not interested in going backwards. You're interested in going forward. And that's kind of the road less, you know, for them, they don't understand that that's the road less traveled, right? You deciding to go forward with your life and leave the past where the past is or whatever that thing is that kept you down for so long. You're not going backwards. You're moving forward. And... Wow. Cancer, I have to say I'm proud of you. Whoever this is for, you have, you have that glow up. You're doing great. Um, guys, I'm going to take this to the extended, and I'm going to find out where Cancer's path is leading Cancer at this time. So um, if that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.